Join us for a seven-night cruise on board Virgin Voyages' Valiant Lady. Starting in Barcelona, we join the French days in Ibiza Nights itinerary, travelling to Marseille. Then for day three, we arrive in Cannes, France, where we visit Nice and Monaco. After a half day at sea, we arrive in Palma, Mallorca, where we stay until day five. Finally, on day six, we spend our last half day at sea before arriving in Ibiza, where we stay until day seven before heading back to Barcelona. After an early morning flight, we arrived in Barcelona. We decided to leave our luggage at the terminal and go off exploring until our boarding time. A few hours later, and it was time to board. We used the priority lane, which was a feature of the Splash of Romance package we had bought prior to the cruise. After an extremely efficient check-in, we were handed our bands and made our way onto the ship. All of this only took eight minutes. Priorities first, it was time to go and check out our cabin. So Georgie, what's your biggest tip for Barcelona so far? If you can stay one night before, do it, because we had a really early flight this morning, which meant we then had a long wait before we could get on the ship. If we came again, we would probably stay one night before and then stay in the hotel. But also... Oh yeah, these are really handy. These have been invaluable. Um, I wish it was a bit faster, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really good. I'm I'll let, dizzy. I'll let you walk straight. Okay, thank you. We made it. We just stands our key card, so we'd have to open the key card on the door. And so it's let's see. Yay! Straight in. I'm in. <laughs> it smells <laughs> nice. It does feel. Everywhere smells nice so far, actually. Put the aircon on to Antarctica. Yeah, should we have a look at the balcony and then we'll do a room tour? After you. Okay, okay. Oh. I'm going to take this bag off. Yeah, take the bag off. Because it weighs about three tons. Yes. Yeah. Does um, thin this cabin? It does fit. Like, because this is an XL C terrace balcony, but the XL isn't for the terrace, it's more for the cabin. Yeah, sorry, we're just get heading outside so you can actually see George in his not a black blob on the screen. Oh. They're okay. Yeah, look, that's where you're going to be spending a week. I know, how do you do it to just... <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I fall off this, because I will this, she can support my weight. Yeah? <laughs> That'd be a weight warning if it didn't. Oh God. I don't know how Right, we'll let you perfect that. Let's okay. let's have a chill and then we'll show everyone around the cabin. After originally booking a limited sea view terrace, we decided to bid for an upgrade of an XLC terrace and fortunately won the upgrade. The XLC terrace boasts an extra 30% living space versus the standard sea terrace. There is extra bathroom space with a completely separate toilet and rain shower cubicle. There is also double the storage of a standard sea terrace.
After a little chill and watching Virgin Voyage's fantastic safety video, we headed down to our muster station. Fancy oh, this. Blue lifters calls. <laughs> Look how smart. I'm dressed in blue in a blue lift. Why'd you go Welsh? I don't know why I went Welsh then. It's because the captain's Welsh. Welsh, so it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was time for our first meal on the cruise, so we headed to Razzle Dazzle. So where are we? We are in Razzle Dazzle. What deck? Deck five. Well oh, done. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so what's Razzle Dazzle? So Razzle Dazzle, oh, it's an American cuisine. Yeah, um, predominantly vegetarian. Yes. But with naughty bits available. Yeah, and on the menu everything red contains meat. Everything that isn't red doesn't contain meat. <laughs> <laughs> and there's also a secret menu. Yeah. So we kind of decided what we wanted from the menu and then she said there's a secret menu. And I know like everyone says, oh, all you do is eat burgers. So we just ordered a burger each yeah. from the secret menu. <laughs> um, but starters, I've gone for chicken wings, and you've gone for salad. An avocado green, yeah. so we shall see what that is in a mm-hmm. short moment. But first, yes. let's have a chat about embarkation. So Good obviously egg. we got here quite early, and we had to wait around, and then we um, went over to board at quarter past two, Yeah, and we got priority lane, didn't we? Yeah, because we've got these flush romance, which comes with these little, this extra bracelet. <laughs> Um, we've got priority boarding, so you get to go straight through the queue. And it worked out really well for us, didn't it? Yeah, so security was the same, wasn't it? But we got yeah. to the front of the queue for security. Well, yeah. the front of the security queue, anyway. And then as soon as we got to check in, we had our own straight lane as well, again. which was really good. So, and then we were on, what, about 10 minutes, I'd say? Yeah, it was very quick. Yeah. Uh, we obviously waited around for quite a while before we did get on board. Mm. But yeah, once, once in that process, it was really smooth. Yeah. Um, headed straight to our cabin to freshen up. We're quite impressed with the cabin. Yeah. So we said we were going to give you a tour, but we're not yet. So sorry if you were waiting for that. That's <laughs> we, that's going to come. We've decided to do it when we've lived in it a bit more. Yeah. Um, so we'll give you some shots of what it looks like before we mess it up, and then we'll show you it in practical use. Once you've done like damage with all yeah. of our clothes everywhere and tech. Ooh, yeah. Hello. Okay. Diet Coke delivery. Yeah. Yum. So yeah, we will put um, some of the cabin tour in this vlog at some point, just not just yet. Yeah. But it is in this vlog. Um, so upstairs, mm-hmm. there's a party going on, isn't there? And we didn't yeah. know about it. Yeah, we didn't know. And, and we got this booked. And they're giving out free wine or champagne. Champagne. Between six and half six. Yeah. And it's now six o'clock. So, <laughs> but we couldn't move this. Yeah. So. We, we aren't really fans of champagne unless it's mixed with something. Orange juice. So, um, or, or if it's rosé champagne. Yeah. So. Or champagne with Diet Coke. Oh, yeah. Sounds weird. Really Tom nice. Hanks one, yeah. Yeah. Yummy. So, but we're here. Um, after this, we're going to go and have a look upstairs and see what's going on. Yeah. But you said you went up there for a walk around earlier. Yeah, and it was a really lively atmosphere. You called it a vibe. I, did I call it a I've vibe? I've never heard you say that. Oh, it was a real vibe. Yeah, people were like <laughs> just dancing and happy and the music was really loud. Yeah. It was just a nice environment up there. A bit too warm for me. Yeah, well, yeah. But, um, it might cool down a bit. <laughs> cool. Right, shall we have a look at this food? I think we should. Not long after dinner, it was time to sail away from Barcelona and explore the ship a little further. into the athletic club, George had to get onto the deck 16 net and take a selfie. (laughs) 
It wasn't long and we had to head back to the cabin to get ready for the pyjama party also happening here on Deck 16. While we didn't wear pyjamas ourselves, a lot of the other sailors did. It was a fantastic party and we definitely recommend it if you get the chance to go on Virgin Voyages. It's day two and we wake up in Marseille, France. For breakfast, we visited the galley and both opted for food from Dinah and Dash. So we just ordered our first room service because yes. we are like, room service champions. Yeah. <laughs> what we got? We have. Um, so first of all, room oh, service yeah. is a seven dollar delivery charge plus tax on European sailings of $7.70 delivery charge. However, if you've ordered something you have to pay for, such as a latte for $4, they waive the delivery fee. So what we have, Dan ordered, I think it's a red velvet cookie, um, ooh, with cream, so it's sliding the bag everywhere. And I ordered a cake pop. Huh. How fun is that? I mean, I'll, I'll just pan down for the rest. Okay. So. We have gummy bears, some pretzels, and some popcorn. Nice. And it all came in this little bag. In cabin snack. Yeah. Well, hello. Hello again. It's day two, isn't it? It is. What's, what's happened today? We woke up. So we had a really late... <laughs> I'm trying yes. to like... I thought I'd think of an artsy way to talk while I'm on camera. Um, but it's just actually really uncomfortable under my armpit. Um. So we woke up quite early, actually. Um, well, not really. It was half ten, but there was a crew drill that woke us up. And then all we did was head for breakfast, wasn't it? Yeah, where did we go for breakfast? We went to the galley yeah. on deck 15 aft. And it was quite nice, the um, 24 hours Dash and Diner was open. Um, there's quite a few bits open, but it was kind of like towards the end of breakfast time, so. What did you have? I had pretty much full English, but I had an omelette with bacon, sausage, and hash brown. Okay. What did you have? You had the same, didn't you? Yeah, pretty much, but not a Western omelette. Oh, okay. Different so. There were like five types of omelette up there. It was yeah. quite good. So, and then we sat upstairs for a bit, didn't we? Yeah. Enjoyed the warmth. Sat on some of their weird triangle seats. Yeah, they're like kind of sofa daybed things. <laughs> um, and then we thought, we need to try out this room service and see if gummy bears actually get delivered. And, and they did. They did. Yeah. Two portions of. <laughs> so, can you even see my face? Yes. Okay. We also need to talk about last night. Yeah. So we didn't wear PJs to the pyjama party. We chickened out because of our PJs. Yeah. Because of our pyjamas. Yeah. But we just went up in our normal clothes, didn't we? Yeah. And there were loads of people in normal clothes as well. Yeah. But as, as you know, you stated yesterday, um, for something else, it, it was a vibe. It was a vibe. It was a moment. There was a drag queen up there. Yeah. Music was really good. Oh, God, I can't speak today. Music was good. And the bar staff and the staff walking around were really friendly. Yeah. Like, overly friendly. Friendliest we've ever seen on yeah. a cruise and, like, ship. Yeah, having a conversation. So, um, yeah, it was really nice up yeah. there. Yeah. But it was also misty as well, wasn't it? So it was quite mystical. Yeah, and the lights had to, they were on and they were off. So I don't know if that was part of the pyjama party or because it was really foggy that they had to kind of flash mm. the lights every now and again, but the fog one was going off too. Yeah. So. We also need to talk about what that is on your wrist. This yes. little band. Yeah. This is the romance package band. Splash of romance package. Splash of romance package band. <laughs> <laughs> so how much did that cost us? Um, I don't know, Dan. You tell me. $160. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. What do we get? <laughs> let's, let's test you. So you get... One second. I'm just going to... Can you still see my face? Yeah. Okay. So with the Splash of Romance package, you get one bottle of Moe and Chandon if you do the Shake It on the phone. Um, shake for champagne, shake for isn't champagne. it? Um, so you get a bottle of Moe. 
You get three hours in the thermal spa. We had a little tour around that yesterday. It looks yeah. lovely. Oh, it looks amazing. Can't wait to go in there. And that is, is the value, I think it's £39 for a three hour session if you book it yourself. Mm. Um, but also it's included with a splash of romance package. She also told you about a weekly pass as well, didn't she? The weekly pass for is $279 per person for a week. Mm. However, it's currently on offer to $249. But because you have a splash of romance package, if you want to do that, it'll be two hundred and ten dollars per person. Yeah. So it would still be four hundred and twenty dollars. We we don't really think we'll be in there enough for no. it to be worth four hundred and twenty dollars for us. It's still, there's too much to do on here, isn't there? Like yeah, we we'll struggle to find the time to be honest. So next time. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Right. So you've got three more left to. So you have priority <laughs> check-in. So we. Oh, okay. That's not included in that. Oh, is it not? Yeah. So you have priority check. -in. I feel like I look like a joint and gammon, by the way, like when you're just about to boil it. So I'm going to try and... Oh, that's even more uncomfortable. Oh, God. <laughs> priority check-in. Pulling off the balcony, <laughs> I'm going to say, can't you? So priority check-in, we used it yesterday, um, and it was really handy, actually. There wasn't a massive queue, no. but it was long enough that we got to avoid it, so it was great. Yeah. Um, what else do you get with a splash of romance? We have a cocktail... I believe a special cocktail event hosted oh, yeah, we do, on yeah. Thursday. I can't remember yep, what day it is. In the perch. Um, two more. Oh, two more. Two more. Some of them should be arriving today. Canapes. So. Yeah. Canapes in your cabin. So you haven't what? seen those yet. Aphrodisiac, Aphrodisiac bites. bites. Yeah. So basically, canapes. We've seen videos and they're like little chocolates and stuff. So hopefully they'll be nice. Yeah. So they come on the second, fourth, and sixth day of the cruise. Mm -hmm. And they deliver to your cabin. And then there's one more. I don't think I can think of the last one. Which you forgot one. to get this morning. Oh, daily juices. <laughs> you can get a juice each, a press juice. Um, I really upstairs. want to try one. But I think it finished at half 11, 11 o'clock. Runs um, from 8 to 11 each morning at yeah. Gym and Tonic Bar on deck 15. So we missed that. I sound knowledgeable and Georgie doesn't sound that. I've just remembered I've a lot a, more than I ever remember. I've got a lovely little guide there. My so. memory's for work, not for life. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> right, let's go and have a wonder. I think we should. It was time for some ice cream, which we took to enjoy at the dock on Deck 7. That evening we had booked It's a Ship Show, a variety dinner show located in the manor on Deck 6. Here we got to see a variety of acts, all whilst enjoying a four-course meal. It was time to freshen up in the cabin and enjoy some of the treats that had been left as part of our Splash of Romance package. Next we went to see the Misbehave show showing in the Red Room on decks 6 and 7. This was a game show unlike anything we had ever seen, 
With the audience split into two halves, everyone was encouraged to participate. We definitely recommend it if you get a chance to see it, as it only played twice on our cruise. A busy evening. Yes. Interim service. Yeah. Well, I couldn't be bothered. Well, I couldn't be bothered to go upstairs. Dan didn't really eat his main in um, the show we went to earlier. It's a ship show. So it's a bit later on now. We'll probably get some room I've got another sack. And of course, room service is free. Um, it's a delivery charge. But I bought a macchiato for $3. So delivery charge is waived. So yay, he saved $4 delivery. <laughs> but should we open it up? Yeah. In our little bag. We, we love these bags now. Let's have a look. It's like magic. It is. Before I open these fabulous looking meals, which we've already had a little sneak peek at, this is your little goodie box that comes with it. So you've got some cutlery. Um, do you order more jelly beans, baby? Gummy bears. Uh, well, because I thought we should stock up. Two <laughs> bags of popcorn and my macchiato. And cans, because they're free, so we thought, let's just stock up whilst we can. Put them in the mini fridge. Then yeah. Them in the mini fridge. It's really rocky, so apologies for my <laughs> camera work. <laughs> so we don't know what's in these, do we? No, I'm... What's that? What is it? It's nuts. Did we order that? Oil must be part of the other bit, which is here. Oh, hello. Cheeses and meats. Wow, you can smell that. Is that? Cheese. Oh yeah, that's the gorgonzola, the toe cheese. Yeah, <laughs> toe cheese. <laughs> um, and we've both ordered a steak. Steak. Done gone for well done. I've gone for medium rare. Now for room service, I've got to say these look quite impressive. I mean, it's such a shame they've wasted Brussels sprouts on us because we're not going to yeah, eat them. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, but it looks good. Well, we've already eaten Brussels sprouts today. We have, haven't we? They were in the meal earlier. <laughs> but they were oddly quite nice Brussels sprouts. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, well, let's tuck in. And um, shall we jump to day three? I think we should. It's day three, and we wake up in Cannes, France. As we had got up early for our excursion, we decided to have room service and enjoyed breakfast on the balcony. Excursion time. I'm tired already. Where are we meeting? We are meeting in the red room deck six. 45 minutes before. Deck six. Now we're on the Create Your Fashionably French itinerary. If you say so. I can't I believe it is, but I'm not <laughs> put it in the bottom anyway. But today we're going to... Monaco. And... Nice. Yay! <laughs> um, we don't know where we're going first, however, we've just been given a map of Monaco with some things to do. So we think it's there. <laughs> so we think it might be Monaco first. Yeah. Um, so yeah. How was your first ever tender? Like, we've been on... What? 150 nights at sea so far, and we have first. never been on a tender. How was that? It was okay, very busy. Because <laughs> um, you use one of the kind of what's the, the word for them? Because I say lifeboats as a tender, so I just say tender yeah. boat. Um, I, there's quite a few of us on there, easily about 200. <laughs> so I thought we were going to be on like a nice wooden jet boat like um, in James Bond you know and you would with be standing scarf. there yeah with your scarf waving scarf, in the wind like, but no it wasn't that spectacular no <laughs> I'm now not sure if we're going to Monaco first because the lady's now coming around with Nice ah. uh, maps so right, well they're gonna find out in a second we're gonna find out in about an hour, in an hour so, so yeah see you in a minute second <laughs> Our first stop was Nice. We did have approximately one and a half hours here, so we decided to take in the sights and do a little bit of retail therapy.
Our second stop on this itinerary was Monaco. We had some more free time here, so we took in the sights of the marina, as well as the Casino de Monte Carlo. After all that walking around, it was only fair that we stopped for a little bit of lunch. It was time for some dinner, which we enjoyed in the galley, visiting Diner and Dash, the Burger Bar, and the Sweet Side. Thanks for watching the first part of our seven nights on board Valiant Lady vlog. We hope you have enjoyed watching, and don't forget to like and click that subscribe button for more cruise content. For menus and information about Virgin Voyages, don't forget to check out georgeanddan.com or scan the QR code, which will pop up on your screen shortly. And we'll see you later.